everybody, we're here back again at Clover Park, St. Lucie, Florida. We're here super early. Spring training games for the New York Mets opening today. As every year, I think for like the last 20 years, we're back again. <laughs> the big difference this year, Mets, kind of the Mets. <laughs> so we are a team in struggle of an identity and desperately in need of pitching at this point. <laughs> so we come in today, gonna to be an interesting training camp. It's gonna be interesting to see if we're picking up any free agents whatsoever. Gone, Jacob deGrom, gone, Max Scherzer, gone, Justin Verlander. The ace this year was the surprising pickup last year, Kode Senga, who this week injured, <laughs> out with a strained right uh, shoulder, which they're hoping he may be ready for opening day or sometime thereabouts afterwards. Their new pickup this year, Fuji, mysteriously leaves in the middle of the night last night to head back to Japan. For what? Unknown at this point, oh, no. at least. <laughs> Other open question marks, Pete Alonso, pretty much the heart and soul of this New York Mets team since David Wright years. Who knows? Unsigned beyond this year at this point, and... Uncle Stevie saying he wants him to be part of the team for the rest of his career, but no tangible offer on the table. Where do we go from here? Um, definitely not the World Series. I mean, this is, every year we come here and I'm almost in tears every year because I love this team so much. And I always think, why not us? Why not now? And this year, the rose colored glasses are off. And this is, how do we just not finish in last place? We need a miracle. 1969 Miracle Mets, this ain't it. First pitch is not for another four hours. We got here super early so that we can check out the open workout prior to the game today. It's the early bird crowd trying to get a glimpse of players as they warm up. Some autograph hounds here as well with bags full of balls and bats and whatever else and pictures for people to sign. We got nothing. Last year at this time we had, uh, well I had the black Alonzo jersey while we were over at the complex um, just down the road where for the Cardinals, I think, Cardinals game, which ironically we played at Cardinals here today, and Alonzo signed my jersey last year, and so that jersey no longer in rotation. Speaking of jerseys, this year, hot topic with jerseys because of Fanatics taking over jersey manufacturing and they are god awful. You can see through them, you can see through the pants, you can see through the tops, the spacing on the letters and the numbers, outrageous. It's the talk of everything, including stories on the Today Show because of how bad they are. There's always something about like an empty ballpark. Not a huge crowd here yet but it is very early. <laughs> also, the training fields in St. Lucie kind of seeming a little out of date compared to some of the piers these days. Heads up. So we have multiple practice fields here. <laughs> I 
These guys are throwing a football around. bunch of guys trying to make the team <laughs> stretching excitement all right time for our trip through the store it's always overwhelming immediately with what do I want? Home run shirts? No. Spring training and hats, hats, hats. Spring training hats and the black hats, which this design is different this year. Not here, these are last year's version, but the new design is just blue with no white outline. Kind of a St. Patrick's Day design. Tommy Bahama shirt. This is nice. No. White buckets. Mr. Met. Cheap Mr. Met. Cheap Mr. Met is 35 bucks, dude. This should be like a giveaway in the stadium. Oh, Florida. Oh, Mr. Met. Tiny Met. <laughs> it's kind of a fiesta. <laughs> More spring training stuff. I hate the hats with the strings. Very 80s. I didn't like it then. I don't like it now. Bathing suits and shorts. Women's section, up in their game this year. All FOCO stuff. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Check out these denim shorts. Tiki guy. Gotta get your chains to represent. Cooling towel. Flushing, New York. Birthplace of Kyle. Little bracelets. Amazons. You know why they're called the Amazons? <laughs> because they're amazing. <laughs> Here's the new Fanatics jerseys. You can see how the lettering is different than what I have on. Mary is insisting on showing me this shirt while I'm showing you this jersey. This is the old majestic lettering stitched. This is like iron on and so thin that you can see right through it. Tiny letters, giant numbers, and like iron-on patch. This is the Majestic patch. And here's the patch on Fanatics. It's awful. You get your own Hall of Fame circles for your home. Approaching gate time. And it is officially 11.30. Gates open. We here, beer. Oh, familiar wind tunnel. We got pizza. We got real estate. We got balls. Beer here. Cocktails. Auction items. Jacob DeGram jersey. Buy now, $4.90. Pete Alonzo helmet. Buy now, $6.05. Alonzo autograph jersey. Buy now, $6.85. Last year, he signed it for me for free. Spin and win. One spin, $6. Multiple spins, 10 bucks. Hot dogs, burgers, fries. Take a look at the lineup here. We've got Lindor and Alonzo here today, and Brett, Vientos, Nito playing, Tyler McGill pitching. And we're back. Seven lying in the house here today. You'll be able to see them all out on the hill, in the stands. It doesn't look like they've changed anything. 
for the last few years over here. David Wright, Jose Reyes, the captain. He's been in camp this week. Tacos. This little stand is new over here. Bucket hats, the spring training and stuff. We've got the Budweiser Terrace over here. More burgers and fries. house. You can stay here and watch the game. Can I get two sausages? Sure. Here's my damn pricing. And we have to get our first bucket of the year in here. Here's the pricing. Oh my goodness, I have been dreaming of this day. And it's finally here. Catch a foul ball. Oh, it's coming right underneath us. Eduardo Alfonso, Mary's favorite Met, possibly of all time. Fonzie's post-game interviews were legendary in the house. I don't think Mary enjoyed anybody else quite as much as Fonzie. Let's do it. This is what the grapefruit schedule is looking like for the Mets. We're thinking Yankees at Steinbrenner Field, either on the 22nd or the 25th of March, my birthday. So if you're looking to catch the Mets, they're here every Sunday, at least split squad. They only play in Lakeland at Detroit on the 21st of March, which is probably my favorite stadium. Look at these home run visors. Diaz is back this year. Trumpets will be played. Making our way around the other side of the field. We've made our way over to Seven Lion City over here up on the berm, the hill. Over here at the road to the show, these are the players that came up through the St. Lucie Mets organization. And right here, Tyler McGill, starting tonight, or today, this afternoon, for the New York Mets. The captain, the GOAT, Benny Agbayani. Who does not love Benny? Number 50 forever. Francisco Alvarez, which mind-blowingly, I didn't realize this, but managed by Bad Bunny Sports Management Company. So Bad Bunny not only wrestling, not only selling out stadiums, blowing up the charts everywhere, also managing Francisco Alvarez. The polar bear, right next to Jeff McNeil. We still have one hour before the first pitch. Checking out another stand. If you want a hot dog, it's $6.75. If you want onions, or sauerkraut on that dog, it's another dollar fifty. These spring training games, much like my other games, used to be really cost effective and super cheap. This is the view from the cheap seats today. Section 113, Road D. These seats ran $35 a piece. Ron yeah. Darling in the house. Where's Keith? Keith is represented in the retired numbers here behind home plate. For today's spring training game between the visiting St. Louis Cardinals and the New York Mets. Starting pitches for today's game are number 57, Zach Thompson, for the visiting Cardinals, and number 38, Tyler McGill, for your New York Mets. Woo! We have a Frankie sighting. Lucy County, Mucky Mucks. But we're not the first pitch. The polar bear is on the field. Brett Beatty is back, healthy. Let's go! 
Settling in, first pitch of spring training. It's a ball. We hit him with a pitch. Oh boy. Well, we're rapidly off to first and second. Ball in the dirt. Or I don't see a speed gun anywhere to tell you how fast it was. Uh, wild pitch here. So now we're at second and third. Two and two. Oh, goodness. Full count. Oh, goodness. Oh! Full count. Struck him out. So we have a full count here. Two outs. Cards already scored once. Tyler's thrown the ball in the dirt four times already. Oh, another foul ball. What's up? Struck him out. There we go. It's Mets trivia. here. How's it going to do? Oh, smoke. Punched him out. Frankie at the plate. Batting righty. Oh, this guy's got some heat and then a nice change up. Throw another pitch that speed. You can hit that thing back to flush him. Oh! Fred Beatty, first major league at bat. I called it, he hit a home run. I'm gonna say it here. He's going yard, right to the seven line. Oh God, that's not yard. That was a ground out. Did you not get the memo? Heading into the third inning, we got a pitcher swap. Tyler Parson, Parson something? The pizza reveal. It looks good. We're getting a hammock here. Four nothing now in the third. Two outs. Pizza, reasonably good. Frankie back up. Got a runner on first. He's batting lefty this time. Francisco flew out. Polar bear up. Pete flew out. Hard to tell if the Mets pitching is that awful or if the Cardinals bats are that hot. Maybe a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. The play was at the plate. Nito dropped the ball. Getting crushed now, 6 nothing. 
We just walk the guy on four straight pitches. Bases loaded now. We just hit the batter with bases loaded. Oh, Lord. A four-run inning has finally come to a close. We're losing bottom of the fourth. Ain't nothing. Jose, don't call me Julio Iglesias is up. And he smacks it back. Back. Oh, and it drops in. Heading into the fifth inning, and it's a mass exodus. Folks are bailing out. This guy has yellow batting gloves. There's Ronald McDonald up there with the red sleeves. Now we have a short king at the plate. This guy looks like he's about four foot tall. He's barely taller than Tomas Nito while he's crouched down. Acuna, we finally got a glimpse of him up at bat. Luke Voigt, James Luis. First of all, hilarious that Luke Voigt is on the team or trying to make the team. Second, hilarious thing about it is he's wearing Turk Wendell's old number 99. I just found a picture recently of me with Turk Wendell. Hilarious. Who's drinking? Let's go by Friday. Oh, yeah. Base is loaded for Luke Voigt, former New York Yankee legend, 2020 home run champion. We could be looking at a grand salami. Oh. Well, we gotta run back, but we're losing 10 to four. We've got a dinger. All right, Clover Park, we're getting out of here. Mets opening day, spring training. Um, went pretty much the way I thought it would go. <laughs> but, uh, you know, spring training, you never know how things are going to go because it's only a couple of innings of starters, but it was interesting to see some of the reserves. Acuna we got to see, or at least I, you know, we watched him three times at a, up at bat and pretty much did nothing. And he's the future for the franchise. So interesting. Also interesting to see Luke Voigt and get in the shot. And, uh, you know, he had more than an opportunity, I think, twice with multiple runners in scoring position. Um, anyway, we're going to get out of here. Thank you very much for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great day. We'll see you guys. Take a look.